Hello, Texture Junkies. I'm going to check my camera this time because I've done this three times. Uh, <laughs> and last time my camera turned off, I don't know why. I, th I was pretty sure I had it on. So um, my name's Sharon, and you're on Texture Junkies. And you have joined the uh, Stuffed Stuff Makers Creative Collab, and that is what we're doing this month. We've done a couple previous um, and it's a video hop with other diverse artists and creators, and there'll be a list below um, for you to click on, but if you wait till the end of this video, there should be a square that pops up, and you can click on that and, and join the hop. Um, so please uh, go around the loop with us and have a magical and crafty day with lots of inspiration. Um, the requirement for this project was scraps and stuffed stuff, that's what it was called. Stuffed stuff with scraps, which was way too broad for me, and I actually started another project, finished another project, ended up with Blanche the Craft Room Fairy, which turned out so cool, she's going on my mantle, but she didn't have enough stuff in her stuff, so I kind of started the project over last week, and here we are. Um, so please stay till the end, and I'll make it quick. Uh, because I'm going to have tips throughout and there'll be uh, a fun tip at the end as well. Um, and you're on my new channel. I actually have, this is a spinoff from Happy Paper People. You can still find us on Happy Paper People. That's our home base on Facebook with my partner, Mary Ann. But we decided to have separate channels because we wanted to do different things. And that's great. That means more content for you guys. Um, and this is hashtag Makers Creative Collab. You can find us on Instagram, and I'm Texture Junkie. Um, let's see. All right. So, third time's a charm. It really is. Do you have this around your house? Do you have these? This is what I came up with to solve this problem. I also have a stack of lists in here. I get an idea while I'm washing dishes or something comes to me while I'm uh, looking at Pinterest and it's like not even related to what I'm seeing, but it's just like an idea. It's a what I call an art seed. And so I write that down and it could be in one of these notebooks. It could be on the back of an envelope. It could be any scrap of paper I can find, like if I'm washing the dishes and that's what's there. And then I end up with all these little bits of paper everywhere. I also do this thing where I tuck them inside my journal and then I have all these things tucked in here. All of them, you know, like, and I also tear pages out and bring them upstairs if I manage to write in that journal. So what I've done here is created something where I can bring those scraps up, not have them floating around all over, and explore those ideas. Craft seeds. Um, so let's start. So the requirement was scraps. This is manila folders and scraps. And that's about it. Um, other than, you know, some focal points and stuff. So I did put important on here because it is. This is where I'm going to compile it all, explore an idea. I might tear out a page. I might add more paper. That's why I have these hoops. I did have smaller ones and I changed it out because I decided it's going to get a lot more paper. <clears throat> anyway, there's the cover. And you know those book spines that fall off? I made a tiny tag out of it. Rust paste on the back, glued it down to something. It's like a paper bag or something. I love recycling. It makes me so happy in my heart. Um, I get pretty giddy when I get into a project and I get to recycle and turn ugly things into beautiful things. It's just, it's fun. Um, so I left lots of places to add poems and inspiring goodies, and I've got little pockets tucked here and there, little ones I'm talking about. Um, this says ideas and plans, and then I could put my color-coded um, sort of chapters here because I did color-code it. Uh, I tucked her in here because I want to use her. Favorite, one of my favorite little scraps that I need to remember to use because I've got a couple like five by seven pieces of this that I made with um, texture paste and foil tape. Um, this says seeds. And my first chapter is this sort of blue green and fall colors, and it's seeds. Gel plate. Uh, there's a lot of roll off pages in here. I went around and stamped at the end. 
and I'm still going to fiddle with this. I'll still doodle, uh, you know, while I'm thinking, doodling helps. Could be on one of these with the Stabilo or who knows. Got a place for quotes here. Another little card with some pockets, things I find, maybe some uh, words I like and I want to use for a specific project. Um, and in my seeds, this is where I might write a vague, the beginning of an idea. It's very vague. And I need to organize those and I get a lot of seeds and some go somewhere and some don't. But this is a place to do that and then if I don't end up using it or I don't like it and it, and it evolves into something else, I can tear that page out. I can, you know, get it out of my way. Um, and this is where I'll write down all these things on all these lists that, you know, come to me or that I've explored in my brain when I can't sleep, you know. So that's part of the blue. These are folders. They hold lots of lists and goodies until I can write them down so I can stuff the list in there. And then at the end of the week, when I'm ready to go through this, I just go through and go through my lists and write down the relevant and important things. Another section of paper. I do have a postcard in here. Got to stuff the stuff, right? Another section i said i can add or subtract um there's a tag made with homemade paper and it says keep dreaming wishing and planning there's immeasurable power in it i love to be surrounded by inspirational quotes and inspirational people and i think that's really important um, to surround ourselves with happiness and positivity i know i sound like a hippie but maybe i am <laughs> a little bit i am a little bit um and this says plans. So red will be my planning stage. And that's where I might take a page and expand on the idea. This is also another tip for you right here. I actually wanted another focal point here, but I wasn't sure what it was. So what I did, I made this tag. I punched a hole and her face goes through that hole like a window. And she becomes part of the trio and the main focal point. I love it. Another pocket to tuck lists in. And this says, go confidently in the direction of your dreams. Live the life you have imagined. That's wonderful. Just little reminders, you know, it's like sticking sticky notes on your mirror. Just positive thoughts. Um, the more we say them out loud, uh, the more they become real and our brain starts to believe it. Because when you you know, kick yourself inside and you're always saying negative things in your brain, you know, you, you feel negative. You do. And we're all guilty of that, especially right now. Uh, a couple more tags. And here, this is part of a Sears robot catalog. And I, it happened to be a scrap on my desk. A lot of this was, and I had a cross on it and it goes really well with my nun and my Mary here. So I just tuck those in there. They might be added to a journal later. But for now, here's where they are. And I see some doodling happening there. I can see it already where I want to. Another pocket. I love the rain. This says, mud puddle. The rain came down and left behind a puddle in my way. And it whispered, oh, so quiet. Can you come and play? I love that. I love having a playful... I, something playful about something that feels so serious. The world is too serious. So, you know, let's, let's have a, have fun, you know, I guess that's, that's what I mean. Here's another tip. A couple Saturday, Saturdays ago on Happy Paper People, uh, the original channel, we had a Saturday Night Live, uh, which we do every Saturday um, until further notice, uh, I, I'm pretty sure we're keeping it, but I think we're going to take turns doing it. But this is fabric that I stiffened, um, live. And then I ran it through my, uh, die cutting machine. I just used, um, uh, Mod Podge or school glue mixed with water. It's probably Mod Podge, some sort of sealer. And it made it pretty stiff. It's backed also. That helped. Punched a hole and Bob's your uncle, you know. Um, another pocket, gel print scraps, scraps, stuff I, I die cut and stamped on. You could fuss 
over this as much as you or little as you want. I mean, it's it's yours. So I I wanted it to inspire me when I opened it and make me feel something. So I added all these things that I love to make that happen. Things maybe I want to use or maybe I just keep in there because I love it and I should make another one. I don't know. We'll see. So this is a double pocket on this one and this is the green section here. I kind of have those backwards, don't I? I uh, switched it around and... Oh no, this is for the yellow one that I was going to add. I haven't finished that one yet. I just keep adding to it. I can't help myself. It's just what I do. Um, especially if I'm in the zone. Uh, here's an envelope, a coin envelope that I made a closure for. Punch some holes in it. It'll probably go in the back to tuck smaller items in. Um, and then I can take it out and dump it out if I need it. You know, things I want to save or remember. And here's another tip. This pocket goes the opposite direction. And when you use these rings, what it does, if you stick something in the pocket, it locks it in place until you do this with it to take it out. So it could be, you know, all your secrets or passcodes or, you know, passwords or whatever. It's like a little locked pocket the way it works out. All right. And that's the back. And it says the painter as the poet. It was just a bunch of words that were sitting on my desk and I made a thing out of it. So I am going to have a 200 subscriber giveaway because I'm starting over. So if you like this video, subscribe and comment below, I will enter you into the drawing and I give away amazing gifts, like night fun gifts. Um, and then if you get anyone else to come over and join, I'll enter you again. So you have an opportunity to have two. Uh, I'll have future videos that you can do the same thing on, and I'll tell you uh, at the end when those videos, hopefully they'll be short ones because time is valuable, um, are chances to win. So, and let's see, I wanna make sure I get through. Oh, and I have a playlist in there. Um, because I was in Happy Paper People for the last two years with my partner, I actually have lots of tutorials over there. So I pulled them all over, made a playlist, and you can go through past tutorials um, for inspiration or projects. And uh, I'm going to be doing something a little bit different with this channel. So we could be doing anything from furniture to um, experiments to journaling, painting, um, I'll tell you later about my experiences and how that might uh, um, become a part of what we do here. And hopefully you'll learn something and get excited and get new ideas. Um, and you can find me on YouTube here at Texture Junkies, on Facebook at Happy Paper People, that's our home base group, and on Instagram, Texture Junkies. And I should have some links below. I'll have all the artists link below that are in the collaboration also. So thank you so much for joining me. I hope that you have a magical day and you found inspiration here. And I wish you peace and lots of love.